This piano came from an old dance studio and as you can see, the piano is old and in desperate need of some love. First things first, always give a good sand to remove any oil, dirt and dust. We bought these beautiful decorative roses to glue inside the already made frames. All we need to do is a bit of wood glue and tape, then on they go. Once they've dried overnight, it's time to fill the gaps with silicon and then get on to painting. I grabbed this paint from my local Bristol store. It's a beautiful light green chalk emulsion paint, which will give the piano an interesting look when it's all finished. When painting over these detailed items, like the roses, always use a brush to help get into those holes and those gaps. After letting all the paint dry and just a light sand, it's time to fill the gaps of those frames. A quick tip, when filling in the gaps, make sure that you run your finger over the top after you've applied the gapping. This will ensure a nice smooth finish. Time for the second coat. I've stepped back from this one and let my daughter and Denise get their hands dirty. Painting is done. Now it's time for those finishing touches, a bit of wallpaper and some black wax to pull out the details on those roses. The finished product is even better than we'd hoped it would be. This piano went from looking worn out and old to elegant, aged and beautiful. Now all that's left to do is move it into its new home. Thanks for watching. Did you know we run workshops for all things DIY and renovation? I've popped the link below with our schedule for the rest of the year. Hope to see you there sometime soon.